Welcome to the Harper Classroom, series of instructional videos. This video is on how to perform moving average in Excel. In this video, we will calculate a moving average, we will plot a moving average, we'll demonstrate dampening with moving average, and demonstrate filtering with moving average. So let's bring in Excel. We'll start with an index, and we'll start with time 1 equals 1 plus 1 is 2, and I can drag this down and have as many time periods as I want. Uh, let's have a large number so we can see the character of our time series. Let's stop at 99. Let's have 99 time periods. So now the time series, let's start with a random, random number generator. We copy this down and we see that this random number generator will generate uh, random numbers between 0 and 1. And so let's multiply this by 20. So now, and copy this down, so now our, our time series will range between 0 and 20 with a mean somewhere around 10. Now if I want to highlight the index and time series and plot it, I go to insert, recommended charts, and here I say OK, and there's what my time series looks like. It's a random component with a stationary time series, and since this random number generator uh, is a function, every time I enter, enter something it'll generate new random variables. So every time it'll give me a new random random time series. Let's do a moving average with a window of 3. So I come down here in time period 4, equal average, and average the first three numbers. Let's bring this over and let's have a also a moving average with a window of 9. So I come down to time period 10, average of the first nine numbers. Now let me copy this down and copy this down and so I'll copy all of these down all the way down to 99. Now if I highlight my index time series and both my moving averages go to insert recommended charts plot all of them together, I can see that I have my time series in blue, my MA3 in red, my MA9 in green, and we can see that since my window of MA9 is larger than MA3, it's much more stable. Well, here's where dampening comes in. So let's go to the dampening tab. For dampening using moving average, I have a random time series already generated I also generated the moving average with a window of 3, 8, and 13. But if you recall, the time series ranged between 0 and 20, so the mean is 10. The moving average will also have a mean of 10. But when I plot all of them together, it's kind of hard to see the differences between the moving average time series. So let me add a different constant to each moving average. If you notice this first moving average here, I've added C4. C4 is this cell right here, but if you notice I add C4 to every single time period. So if I put 20 here, essentially I'll add 20 to every time period of the moving average. And all that does is raise that time series up here so we can compare the moving average time series with the original time series. Let me do the same thing with moving average of 8. Let me add 40. For moving edge, average of 13, let me add 60. So all I'm doing is adding 20, 40, and 60 to MA3, 8, and 13 so I can compare. You can see as my moving average window changes from 3 to 8 to 13, the variability decreases, the volatility decreases, the magnitude of the random component decreases, and that illustrates dampening. Let's go to the Filtering tab. In filtering using moving average, 
I don't have a random time series. I created a time series here of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, up to 18, but then I repeated that again for the next 9, and the next 9, and the next 9. So my time series has a very distinct periodicity of 9. It repeats every 9. I had a moving average of 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. Well, since my periodicity is 9, the moving average with a window of 9 should filter it out. But 5 and 7 should not filter the, the periodicity, and 11 and 13 should not. Well, to see the difference, I added 30, 50, 70, 90, and 110, so the mean is increased. So I can compare my time series like I did with dampening. Let's plot the time series with the moving averages. Well, this graph illustrates filtering quite well. Here's our time series with a periodicity of 9, every 9 it repeats. And the moving average of 5 is red, 7 is green. Uh, the periodicity is still there. 11 and 13, the periodicity is still there. But the moving average of the window of 9, where 9 matches the periodicity, will filter out that component. This graph also illustrates dampening. Notice 5 and 7 dampen the time series. 11 and 13 dampen the time series. But 11 and 13 dampens it greater than 5 and 7 because the windows are greater. So this ends the video how to perform moving average in Excel. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.